Our goal is to drive people who seek and need humanitarian relief into the lawful, safe and orderly pathways that we have built. And so individuals who arrive uh, at our border and cross illegally will be barred from asylum with exceptions. 1,400 people who have made appointments through our CBP-1 app will be able to seek asylum in the United States through our ports of entry. Ah, yes, lots and lots of exceptions and lots of ports of entry. The translation there from Alejandro Americas is that illegal immigrants will be released into the United States of America as long as the cartels drop them off where Biden and the Biden administration tell them to drop off the illegal aliens. It's quite an arrangement we have here. That is tonight's uh, red hot video, where Biden's DHS secretary, Alejandro Mayorkas, uh, attempted to explain Biden's new, long awaited executive action on the border, which legalizes illegal immigration. Finally, they've reached their destination with the, uh, the stroke of a pen. That's, uh, that's pretty extraordinary stuff. And so, what, what they're just looking for. Uh, something to deal with the poll numbers. They've got bad poll numbers on the border. And they're going to get a lot of good headlines out of this from uh, corrupt news media. And uh, the floodgates are wide open. They've given an instruction manual to the cartels, the murderous, blood-drenched, right. multi-billion dollar cartels, as to what they need to do now. Yeah, actually, I was surprised by uh, Secretary Bjorkas's comments here, where, it's, you know, when you're the Secretary of Homeland Security, there needs to be a sense of, of toughness, of law and order mm -hmm. uh, in America to ensure that we protect our national security. That wasn't the case. It sounded like a very kind of soft approach on, on illegal immigration. It almost sent another message to the drug cartels and the human traffickers that is like, yes, keep bringing them in, uh, yeah. you know, thousands and thousands, you know, every day. And so I don't think this is necessarily going to stop the flow in any way. Uh, we go back to the fact that you need the Remain in Mexico policy. Uh, you need to ensure that we have a limited number of immigrants that are coming into the United States, and you start with legal immigrants, which this country generously gives uh, legal immigrants. Uh, it's about a, a, th a million that come in legally, and Every now year. it's we've seen the out of control where now don't come in legally, come in illegally. It's much easier, and that's I think the message that uh, Secretary Mayorkas has really pushed today, which uh, might appease the Democrats, but it doesn't solve the problem. But how can you call this like a soft immigration approach? This, the core of Biden's uh, executive order this week is using a law that Trump uh, was very fond of uh, in terms of blocking the border, you know, people coming across the border uh, when uh, a president decides, hey, uh, we, we have to shut down the border. Uh, and Trump even said the, the phrase of the, uh, you know, this exact clause in the law was called his magical, I found some magical authorities. You're still uh, and so allowing, this is the same. Are they completing is, the wall? No. no. You're still allowing 1,400 uh, individuals to come in uh, at, into the country every single day. You have this backlog. But it doesn't, doesn't, you doesn't just shut the border completely because you have a backlog, hundreds of thousands in terms of, of cases that need to be heard. That's a, what, that's a long standing What else issue has happened? It's been many no of these cases judges. have been dismissed. So you come in yeah. illegally, yeah. you're going to have free access into the United States and you're not going to be deported. And there are criminals that are in here that are illegal immigrants that should should have should have been kicked out of this if, country a long if time. If Trump did this executive order, he would have been applauded by there, Republicans. There is nothing well, resembling President Trump. I'll, I'll tell you what. Uh, uh, the, Joe Biden undid 94 executive orders that uh, uh, President Trump had implemented when he was president. And now he's got one. And technically, it's not even an executive order. It's a proclamation which carries considerably less legal weight. Uh, and that's something that the news media should be focused on, too. Look at the White House website. It's a proclamation, not an executive order. Uh, ICE officers are now mandated to give illegals a cheat sheet as to how to claim asylum. It's an instruction manual. A uh, new internal memo obtained by Newsmax states that Signs must be posted in detention facilities with instructions, quoting from the sign now. The language on these signs will be provided by ICE headquarters and read, if you are hungry or thirsty, need medical care, fear persecution or torture if removed from the United States, have been a victim of abuse, have been a victim of sexual assault, have witnessed a crime, tell an officer and your claim will be heard.